In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing any data. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, we need to check which Windows language you're using. Open the Start menu, type CMD, and run it as an administrator. Then, enter this command line. I'll mention all the commands lines using, in description for easy copying and pasting. After pasting the command, you'll see your Windows edition and language. In my case, it's English United States, EN means English and US means United States. Once you have this information, close the command prompt. Next, open any browser and search for Microsoft software. Click on the first link. Navigate to the Windows 11 section, scroll down, and select the multi-edition ISO. Click on the download now. Choose your product language, I'll select English United States, and confirm it. Click on the download. The download will start immediately. Once the download is complete, close the browser and open File Manager. Go to the Downloads folder, right-click on the ISO file, and select the Extract. Create a new folder, and click OK. This process will take a few minutes. After extracting, open the installation folder. Now if I run setup.exe to start the installation, you'll see a message saying this PC doesn't meet Windows 11 system requirements due to TPM 2.0. To bypass this, close the setup. Open the start menu, search for CMD, and run it as an administrator. Type CD, dot two times then hit enter. After that do the same thing again. Now, you're in the C drive directory, and navigate to the Windows 11 installation folder. Open the sources folder, and copy the file path. Go back to the command prompt, type cd followed by a space, right-click to paste the copied path, and press enter, then type the last command. Make sure you follow in commands carefully, ensuring you don't miss any dots or spaces. Press enter. The Windows installation setup will appear with the different words install Windows Server. Don't worry, this is just a feature we're using to bypass system requirements. Change the setup update to the not right now, and click next your PC will be checked. Accept the terms. Before starting the installation, close all background processes, and disconnect the internet to avoid interruptions. In the what to keep section, choose keep files, settings, and apps then click on next. You'll see a ready to install Windows 11. Check ensure or keep files, settings, and apps is checked. Then click install. The installation will begin and may take some time depending on how full your storage is. The installation is now complete, you can see all our files and apps are still here. If I refresh, everything is a bit messy, so let me align this. And here are our Windows 10 apps. All the icons are blurred, but once I connect to the internet, they become visible. In the download section, the ISO and folder are still there. If I open the search and go to about, you can see it shows 24H2 so. That's it for today's video. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.